Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. If I was to sit on this channel and incite people to commit a crime, I would rightfully be subject to prosecution. If I was to say to people, go out and do this, I'm asking you to go out and commit this particular crime, the police would be knocking on my door, I would be arrested, prosecuted, and spend time in jail, especially if that crime was quite heinous, like, for example, you know, go out there and take the life of someone. If I, if I said, go out and take the life of all, and then insert whatever the group was, it would be seen as a massive hate crime. So why is this American singer, who calls himself Precious Child, but in actual fact is just a ball bag, uh, which is odd because that's what he's got up between his legs. He pretends to be a lady, but he's actually fully ball bagged. Uh, and he's calling for people to go out and kill what he calls turfs. Uh, that is to say, he wants he's got, he's inciting people to go out and kill other people because he doesn't like their views on the safety of women. So we'll take a look at this and we'll wonder why he hasn't been arrested and prosecuted for incitement to commit crime. Here goes. Right, now I do know he is American and they do have a different legal system and they have a very strong uh, second, or First Amendment about the right to free speech. But the right to free speech does not extend to shouting fire in a theatre. And it certainly does not extend to incitement to uh, commit crimes. Uh, and so he can quite very easily be arrested and charged in the United States with this. But uh, here he is, sad little sack that he is, little cockwomble. And he doesn't like the fact that uh, uh, JK Rowling stands up for the safety of women. And so in his little sad mind, he's calling for her to be uh, ended, you know. So anyway, uh, J.K. Rowling, threatened by an American trans singer, uh, all in his mentally ill, tiny cocked individual who can't deal with reality, who desperately needs psychiatric help to get over himself. Uh, and he, he rages and urges his fans to end the life of a turf. Uh, the Harry Potter author has become a controversial figure around the world. No, not really. I don't find her controversial at all. I think she speaks perfect sense. Controversial to some very, very tiny, tiny minority uh, of, of sad people who fail to understand that they aren't actually uh, gender dysphoric, merely, uh, well, most of them, uh, you know, what's the word? Mentally ill. Uh, some of them are just like, you know, looking for attention, attention seeking, you know, but they're all of them very, very sad individuals, aren't they? Um, with no friends. That's the thing. No man would want to be with them because they're not a woman. Gay men don't want to be with them because they're feminine. Gay men like, you know, proper men. Uh, real women don't like them because real women like real men. And lesbians don't like them because lesbians have very little to do with cocks. So they end up having to shag each other. And they don't like that either because 99% of them um, are straight men who like to wear dresses. They're all uh, gynophiles. Just get the hard on uh, when they dress up in ladies' uh, underwear. That's all they are. Pervs, mainly. Uh, and also 10 times more likely to be uh, sex offenders. But that's a different matter anyway. So anyway, a trans singer has been blasted after a picture of, a, of his allegedly threatening JK Rowling went viral. Uh, Sad Child also performs such songs as Turf Killer while also calling on his fans to kill gender critical women. Uh, so that's an incitement, isn't it? That's got to be an incitement to come up to crime uh, and he needs to be arrested for it. Back in April, the, the sad little wanker posted an, uh, an image on Instagram of him holding up a cardboard cutout of the Harry Potter author's head while also holding a knife to her, to her neck. I'm taking the her being, yes, JK Rowling's her, not his neck. Uh, he used this photo to promote the, rela the release of his album, Terror, which he wrote uh, and said was his last album in my AR-15s for transgender teens album cycle. This man seriously needs to be arrested, doesn't he? If this is what he's pushing, this is a man who is a psychopath. Uh, and it's a man who's who's saying that people should be killed simply because he disagrees with what they think. Um, and we, we've seen what happens. You've seen the sort of people who kill people and who urge to kill people who don't agree with them. It happened in Israel a couple of weeks ago. He's no different. And that's how he needs to be treated. And he needs to go on that watch list. He needs to be arrested. And he needs to be taken to undisclosed location and educated to the point of him never coming back from undisclosed location. And if he truly wants to be a lady, let's uh, let's grab hold of him 
and give him what he so desires and put his balls and cock in a jar and say to him, there you go, son. You can have as much fun as you like now with your new manly vagina. It wouldn't bother me. Anyway, during his most recent, and this is the problem, he got the newspapers pandering. Oh, South Park, Pandaverse. Must watch that. You must watch that. Anyway, during his most recent performance at the Knockout Bar in San Francisco, because of course it's San Francisco, the wokest place on earth, Precious Tit performed his song, Turf Killer, and also encouraged the audience to chant, Kill a Turf Today. Turf is the word used by trans activists to insult gender critical women. No, to, in to insult normal women. Not gender critical, normal women. The 99.99% .99 of women in the world. The ones who aren't mentally unstable. The ones who aren't calling for the death of other people with whom they disagree. Uh, in a video posted on his YouTube account, the sad sack is also heard asking the audience to sing the aggressive lyrics all together while in the background the music video is shown on the screen. It features images of um, bullets and knives uh, being thrown in the air and the words kill a turf today flash repeatedly across the screen. If that is not a crime, it bloody well should be. And let's hope that one day he's at the, the other end, the other business end of what he's asking for. Wouldn't bother me either. Uh, in the latest, he's probably a pedo, let's be honest. He's got all the look of a pedo, hasn't he? Uh, in the singer's preface to his video, Turf Killer, he gives a shout out to the Scots author. As he wrote, this song and video is dedicated to every single filthy turf and MRA ex in existence. Special shout out to J.K. Rowling. All the billionaires are trash, but you're special. Well, she is actually. She actually gives a shit about the safety of women. Doesn't want to harm them. Unlike that sad wanker. Um, you know, let's hope that um, precious twat, uh, you know, dies shortly of something horrible. Cancer. Cancer of the cock. That'd be ironic, wouldn't it? Uh, precious child, as he likes to be called because he's a tit, has become infamous for threatening those with gender critical beliefs in his music. Earlier this year, he released a video for Pride Month entitled Villance or something because he can't spell, uh, which features masked trans activists, more mad mentally ill people, posing threateningly with a variety of weapons, including a sword, baseball bat, an axe and Molotov cocktails, while he sings Show Them the Vi or They Will Silence. Um, yeah, what a, what, what a sad, sad little... If this is your life, it's very, very sad, isn't it? And you wouldn't do it um, where there was real men. No, no, has to hide behind all the woke crowds because cowardly, tiny cock, cowardly, no balls. You know, wants to be a woman, Whew. hasn't even managed being a man yet. Uh, anyway, he's, I'm not going to go on and read the rest of this. He, he's just a sad wanker. Look at him, what a... And look, got to do that little downward look like that, haven't they? Hide that big manly Adam's apple. You can just almost see the, uh, the growth coming through there. What a prick. Anyway, I hope he gets his comeuppance soon. I'm standing behind JK. She at least is a decent human being who doesn't call for the ending of lives around the world. Unlike fuckwits and pricks like that. Irony, isn't it? Thinks everyone else is out to get him. And now we are. Anyway, I shall stop and come up. Now that is undoubtedly hate speech. It's directed at one group, women. Uh, it's undoubtedly tourism because, you know, he's calling and advocating for uh, the use of force to end their lives. Uh, he needs to be picked up. Who, who would do that? The CIA. Get him off to Guantanamo. Give him uh, the time of his life. And then feed him to the bloody sharks. Wouldn't bother me at all. Pricks like that don't deserve anything, do they? Call him for that. All that level of hatred. And all because we, normal people, won't accept that a man in a dress is simply a man in a dress. We have to pretend in their minds. We have to pretend that they're women. They never will be. They never will be. Sad, isn't it? Maybe they should do what they all need to do. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much. Bit different, bit angry. But, uh, you know, I can't stand and abide. Pricks like that. Anyway, stop it.